Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen. So you know what? If you're running around and you're stressed out and you're like, I want to paint, but I just don't know what to paint, and then you feel overwhelmed, well, I've got the tutorial for you. We're gonna do a watercolor winter doodle. Super easy for anyone, beginner, advanced, etc. I go over step by step. Ooh, there goes the color. <laughs> uh, how to paint this, and you can just think of all kinds of ways that you would do this. I just did a bunch of tr like funky trees, lollipop trees, whatever kind of trees. You could have done it not, not spread out like me. You could have done it in a row. You could have done it on a hill. Just giving you some fun ideas that keep the stress out. Nice little art therapy for the day. And, you know, all that good stuff. If you're a Patreon member, you have the extended version, etc., etc. So, and if you want to be a Patreon member, check out the link in my description box. Um, you can join and cancel any time. I have extended videos. And I have exclusive tutorials on Thursdays a live stream, we have Facebook group, all this great stuff. So check it out. Okay, so without further ado, get your paints. We're gonna be using gold paint today. Oh yes. And uh, even some gel pen, the white gel pen. We're gonna have fun. And we're gonna just play. All right, let's get started. All right, to begin with, let's go over a few supplies. I have a piece of Arsh 100% cotton cold press paper I taped down with Scotch Magic Tape on a thick piece of cardboard. It's probably like an 8x10, maybe a little bit smaller than that. Uh, I'll be using my Princeton 12 Neptune series. Maybe go back in with an 8 long round Bevel Touch series. My paints are here. I always put these in the description box, by the way. We'll be using some gold uh, watercolor paint. Maybe use some white gouache. How about a white, um, you know, a white pen here? And we have a white gel pen, I'm sorry. And maybe a, maybe a Sharpie fine point pen. Play around with that. So really, when you're doing doodles, it's just like color and shape and all that good stuff. You don't need, you know, drawing skills for this. It's really, you doodle when you're like talking on the phone, simple like that. And you just, we're talking like, you know, it's winter, it's time. So winter colors, you know, blues. I've got ultramarine deep here. I'm gonna loosen this up. Uh, Prussian blue is kind of like a bright, brighter, deeper blue, but I might like, if I want to make it more like a navy, I can mix some paints gray in there and it'll turn more into a navy, which I think I would want a really deep, dark blue to play around with that. Cause this is going to be a lot of blues, you know, maybe you could use some burnt umber browns and then some gold and white. So here we go with that. We got some ultramarine deep. If I want to make it more gray, I'll add, oops, sorry. Um, burnt sienna and ultramarine blue make a nice gray and depending on how much brown you put in it's more brown this color got kind of like a green <laughs> so we'll try this again burnt sienna ultramarine blue get a nice gray cleaning off my brush some of the other colors got in there and got kind of funky so all blues blues and grays all that good stuff see I'm making more blue in here so it's a blue gray so I'm going to start off with some ultramarine blue. Um, you don't need any particular shape. You can do rows, lines, curvy lines, rows, all that kind of stuff. We can play around with like just putting some blobs. So you have this nice ultramarine blue. You can do circles. Why not try with some circles, right? Circles, triangles, all that good stuff. Uh, do a circle there. We can just do like all kind of funky trees. Um, do another circle here. Really kind of simple. Doesn't have to be anything particular. Well, since we're starting with circles, let's just keep going. I just kind of like paint this intuitively. I have no plan and I like to paint that way many times. And you should try it. And my videos are all kind of real time tutorials. You're not getting these, um, you know, voiced over enhanced videos. If you were sitting next to me painting, this is what you'd see. <laughs> So we got that blue one happening. Let's get in that Prussian mixed with the Payne's gray. So it's a deep, dark one. Ooh, it could be a circle too, or oval. Again, kind of move around the paper. Maybe a little more Payne's gray to make it even deeper. Got a smaller one in here. It can touch, but you know, if you want to bleed it, go ahead. A uh, bigger one. We're going to play around with just circles for now. Maybe I'll put in some triangles too. I don't know. 
we'll just see how this goes. <laughs> uh, I can do a triangle on here. Why not? There's no rules. So it looks like a tree, right? Um, I would wait till this kind of dries. And I have this other color, the gray. Remember, I'm going to do more gray. So it was burnt sienna, ultramarine blue. And we have like a gray tone, blue gray. Kind of looks similar to this, but it can be a little bit lighter. So maybe put like another tree kind of shape in here. So that's gray. You can actually put a triangle shape in here. Playing with the colors. And once those particular ones are in, then you can start to go around and adding other colors around there. Do a small one. And if this is dry, you can go on top of that. If it's not, you're just bleeding a little bit. Why not? It's a doodle. It's nothing to be stressing out about. <laughs> See, this one kind of bled into each other. I, d I don't mind it. You know, maybe go like around like an oval shape here. I'm going to go back to my blue. Maybe a little dip deeper, mixing the two colors. Let's see. This, this is still damp. I think it's a good idea for me to wait, let it dry and come back with some of these colors on top of them. So I've let some of this dry and I'm going to go back and I'm going to just do like, maybe go with the triangle. Well, some of them totally didn't dry, but <laughs> I love it. So you guys see what it's like to paint with me. That's the life. And I'm going to do a tree here. Just a triangle going over that one. Circle on a triangle. We'll see what we can come up with with some kind of fun shapes, right? Go back to the ultramarine blue again. Kind of water this down. Let's go over this way again. Bigger circle. Can mix the two. We had some burnt sienna. You do circle within a circle. This is a doodle slash, you know, something abstract. So it's nothing perfect. Um, you're going to play. You can put color over all of this. I'm going to go back and have my ultramarine blue mixed in. So we have like a lot of white showing, but maybe we don't. Maybe we go in this section and put a blue around it. Like I said, this is all an experiment. There's nothing set in stone here, and it's just all about play. Play and play. And really, that's what you need to do. When you're frustrated and you're beginning watercolor, you want to just play with, like, you got new paints. Maybe you got paints for Christmas, you know? Um, who knows? Or whatever. If you're going to get paints for Christmas, do this. Have some fun. So I might go back out in this circle here, go over that, and just go right over it. See that? The square around the circle. I know. It's very inventive. <laughs> We're playing. I'm still doing a very light wash here. Um, very loose, light wash. Right? We can get some dark paint in there again. Thick, dark paint. Ultimate blue. I may have actually my ultimate blue. So, um, hmm. Maybe go over, I don't know. You can actually tap right in the middle there. Why not? Well, wet on wet, let it bleed. Go around a circle. This is wet, make this bleed part. We're having fun with this, right? That's the name of the game. And we can do something actually cool with this. Um, just take this color, this bluish gray color. I know. You have these beautiful shapes, but maybe let's get a little crazy. See what happens when you do something like that? Just take the line. What? Why did she do that? We're getting abstract. It's all about a doodle. So you don't know what to do with abstracts? So simple. Circles, squares, triangles, right? Swooping lines. Let's do that with some ultramarine blue. We can do this with gold too, by the way. Let's do some Soupy lines this way. Why not? There's no rhyme and reason to anything here. It's just having fun. Go back around this one. All the good stuff. 
You can even just go back in here. We did circles and squares and start to kind of mush in color. I call it mushing and just filling it in, mushing it around what we just painted. So you're filling in this white section. Why not? Let's see what happens. Look at that. It just changes even more, right? And we have that dark blue. I'm using Payne's gray and ultramarine blue. Um, let's just do some dry brushing this way. Adding some more deep color here. All the good stuff. <laughs> And now we'll just take some clear watercolor and we'll kind of mush the paint like this. See? I do this mushing thing a lot. And why? Because it has a really cool effect and it really works well on this paper. Now maybe you might need a stiffer brush like a uh, flat brush that I have here. I don't know, I'm just going to grab a flat brush. This is more like a craft brush. So, like I said, sometimes I have to, so I'm going to mush this like I did with the wonderful berries and holly. As you see, so you paint that, you have this stiff line, and then you go back in and you kind of mush it. Or you could add some color. Why not add some color and mush it? And it just changes the picture a little bit, doesn't it? That's kind of cool. I, I really enjoy doing this. <laughs> some people don't like it. You don't have to like it. And I'm going to go back and mush this circle. So you get this really dark, dark circle here. I'm going to mush that out a little bit. It really creates a beautiful abstract. Look at that. I know. You never know, right? So I'm going to add a little more deep color blue with the paint's gray. Just kind of about here. I want this circle to get darker. Now I'm like intuitively painting, tapping in some color. We had that triangle. Remember that triangle? You can go back and add a little bit for that triangle. You can play around with adding some color back in too and swooping. All right. So now I just want this whole thing to kind of dry. I might go back in. Hold on. I'm standing up just to see how I like it. And just take some ultramarine blue. Kind of just throw in some color here. Here, just circles, right? This is all about play, people. It's really fun to play. Now, you never know what the magic happens when you do that. Just making some circles with this crafty brush. After I do that mushing. Right? All that good stuff. So it's pretty damp. And this is where the magic can happen. We can play with splattering and some wonderful metallic gold. I would say gouache, but no, I don't want to make a snowy kind of scene. We want to change this a little bit. So I'm going to go grab my gold over here. I'm going to activate it with my stiff brush because it's really thick. It's almost like gouache. Yours might be much looser than mine, and I really have to activate it. And I really don't want to use my beautiful watercolor brushes to ruin it. We're trying to activate this gold paint. It is fussy today. There we go. Get that gold paint moving. It was really difficult to activate this. So take another brush. I'll take my eight long round. Pick up some of this gold paint now that it's activated. And we can do some splattering even with the damp color there. It's going to add just so beautiful the gold. Remember, this is an abstract. Ooh, got a big pigment piece right there. Already looking great. Now, if you really want some dark areas because you want to paint some nice deep gold on top, like I said, mix the colors, go back in and fill some of these areas in with the dark, dark color. Go back in and do the tree kind of shape. There's a reason for my madness, I know. You're like, what the hell is she doing? <laughs> but we do want some of these shapes to be dark. We just do. Go back and add some darker circles here. 
there's a method to my madness. I put some oval. But I like the bleed because it's wet. Look at that, a nice linear triangle. And even with the bleed with the uh, gold, it's kind of fun. Just bleeding in some more color here. Thick paint going up. Just never know what happens. I love just playing with paint sometimes. Okay, and see this is very damp up here. You can kind of play with tapping in some of the dark, just like little taps, little tippy tap. See what happens, right? Remember this is abstract, so anything goes. Little taps right there. Little taps over here. Little taps down here. Okay. I think I've created what I need to create. And now I will let this settle in, this dry. I mean, though I don't really like this tree. Let me fix this one a little bit. I'll add some ultramarine blue. If I'm sitting there talking to you. I don't like this. Make it more bright blue. Yeah. Okay. We'll let this dry. If you want to add some more like lines or shapes, whatever, go ahead. And um, we're going to come back and we're going to play around with this brush and do some little motifs. All dry now. Grab our gold paint, activate it. It's like, feels like my paint is so thick. It's like almost like gouache you have to activate. Take a skinny brush, this is the Princeton Long Round Velvet Touch Series. So we have that triangle. We're gonna go in here and do a line down. And you can just do like simple little Vs like this, getting smaller as you go to the top. You could make a really fine line if you want, or thicker. And I would add like little balls in the end just to change it up a little bit. Boop. Just tapping little balls. Isn't that cute? That's why you want the dark color, right? So here's another tree. We can put the gold going down. And this time, we'll just do these little dashed lines going down. It's like a lollipop tree. Lollipop, lollipop. If you know that song. So we're just kind of pushing down on your number eight long round brush. Uh, I think a lot of people can do this. <laughs> the effect is pretty cool. So similar to shape tree but maybe make it different here we go we have branches kind of wiggle this have some branches coming out and then out like this see wiggle just kind of branch it out just a little bit different you see that now you could do a stripe of this it's up to you so each little tree, a triangle, you're gonna make a little bit different, right? Um, we have lines going this way for a tree. Just simple lines coming down. Boom, boom, boom. Add the tree trunk. Now you can not keep it gold, you can keep it any color you want, right? And again, here we go with the line going down. You can do the branch one, you could do whatever you want. You could have them going like this way. Change it up. From going up, you're going down. And then you could add little little strands, a little sp sprigs off that like little branch. See? If you can't see this, I'm showing you up close. This is just all gold paint. Minimal water, because you really want to see that gold paint. And this is watercolor gold paint. Holbein. Um, mine is kind of like thick because it's been like in the tube for a while <laughs> but see just do those little simple branches now you can get really creative with them you can do like circles and your trees like a polka dot it's a polka dot line and then do like a circle within a circle get creative with your patterns this is what I'm saying it's like mindless watercolor that you're Focus on different things with watercolor or even paint, period. Obviously techniques, right? I'm doing the mushing technique when I'm wet, bleeding color, layering with color on top. But then you're just concentrating on pattern, design, color. You know, how you become and grow as an artist and have a style is to play around with different techniques and different things. 
So here we're doing a simple. Now see, you can't really see the gold stem. If you can't really see the gold stem, you can go back in with that dark. I'm gonna make that dark blue. Hold on, I'm mixing my uh, Payne's gray, blue, Prussian, whatever. You can go back in and make this tree trunk so you can see it. You see that? Now these trees are all kind of separated. You could have done tree upon tree upon tree. And it doesn't have to all be gold, okay? So here we have this one. We can go in with the tree branch with the dark color and do the branch kind of connecting out. This is what I'm talking about. Going over that tree trunk. Going out, way out here. Right off the page. Don't have to stay in between the lines. Get real creative. You see that? Now that's way out. Way out coming out. Yes, sirree. Like I said, we can put another tree behind here. Tree branches. Just like we did with the gold one. So that's what I'm talking about. You're getting really creative with the doodles here. This is the fun part. Now I'm gonna go back with the gold. Uh, you could use white. And so obviously if you're gonna make it completely, completely all watercolor, you'd have to use masking fluid first. I'm gonna, by the way, use some patterns, just go like this. You can just tap some gold out here. Play around and have some gold kind of tapping on the tree. Okay, so you had that blue tree. Now we can make a little, like almost like little ornaments or snowflakes on the tree that's blue and just tap that. How pretty is that? We've got this mainstay big one here. Ooh, go down. Again, like maybe get some fine lines with this one. Going smaller as we get to the top. This one goes way up here. Maybe add way more lines than I did before. And they're not perfect. They're not supposed to be perfect. It's so much fun. The gold is so much fun. I love the gold. I love this little, this one, right? So you're just kind of just doing this whole tapping down movement. See? Pushing down your brush. Tippy tap, tippy tap. And you've created this like cute little lollipop tree. Super, super easy. Grabbing some more gold. Um, think of all the patterns you think you could, you know, you maybe want to try. Uh, I don't know, with this one, I might go back down to that, you know, like the swooping one. And I can just keep it simple. So we'll start off with doing all our gold. And so here, let's just do like a tree, kind of wiggling branches coming out, going way out here off the beaten path. So much fun. And then this one could have those lines. Now, you can take that beautiful white gel pen you have and create some fun little trees here. So push down, right? And again, the branches Now pens are so easy, you can do this. And then if you wanna be really creative and add some snow like this, just on the outside, look how cute that is. So we could put that tree back here. Kind of have all the branches going around circular shape. Like pretend like there's a circle here. And then again, you just do the dots. Look how cute that is. You could have the dots going out here, adding like, it doesn't have to be just, just be gold. It could be gold with the white, right? You can add some white on this tree or snow, whatever you want to do. Really just changes it up, doesn't it? Right, if I add the white here on top of the gold. This is just like a really cheap gel pen. I think I got it at Hobby Lobby or I don't know where. You can find some things like this on Amazon. Um, and again, just gonna go down and add my branches. Can have a really big tree. I gotta move this thing like this. I'm losing my ink. <laughs> I think because I put it in some areas that were wet. 
and it doesn't like that. So I'm making a really big tree, kind of branching out over these guys. Again, there's no rhyme and reason to what I'm doing. I'm just having fun. And that is the name of the game when we're painting or doing any kind of thing creative. Don't get frustrated. So if you're frustrated from like a really intense tutorial, maybe I've done an intense tutorial on Patreon or YouTube, come back and do something fun like this, right? Again, little small trees here. Tap, tap, tap with the dots until you create a really kind of tap, tap, cool tree. And you can do like little circles, a little pattern here, just all these open circles. I mean, the gel pens are so much fun. Just round open circles. They could be like the snow. Look how cool that looks, right? Um, you can do a wiggle pattern. I'm giving you a thousand pattern ideas to play with that just makes the picture even more exciting and different. I love doodles. They are actually the most therapeutic thing. <laughs> Seriously. Let me do some more of these snow lines out here. You're just wiggling with your... And then you can add some like little bigger balls of white up here on the tree. See all the fun you can do just by bleeding color and adding color. Do some little lines coming here. Whoops. Already it looks fantastic, right? It's our doodle. And he can go in here and add gold and white together. Play around with that. It doesn't have to be all gold, gold, gold. Although it looks cool. Play around with that. Little dashed lines going down. I can sit here all day and just tap. <laughs> tap the little white marks. I mean, again, you can white, use white gouache, all that good stuff. You know, this is the fun part. And I'll reveal, reveal how beautiful it looks when you remove the tape. It is so pretty. This could just be a card. You can do cards, tons of cards this way. Tons of them. Just bleeding color, 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 color on small cards. Or take a big piece of paper like this paint this whole pattern that I'm doing and cut it up. And there's all your cards, all in one shot. So I hope you enjoyed this, guys. Have fun painting, get a, get a get creative, get out of your head, you know. It's so much fun to do something like this. You're just bleeding color and you're adding some stuff. That's all it is. So take care, have fun, enjoy. Uh, like I said, if you're a Patreon member, you get the extended version. And you can always join that and cancel any time. And you can find that link in my description box. All right, guys, take care. Have a great day. I'll speak to you soon.